Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team playthrough that uh, got paused a long while back that I honestly forget why. I think it's because I ran into the 100 levels of Doom Hell Hole and that ate away at me, but... I've been hit by my want to continue. So we are going to. Now, during my, like, adventures of trying to remember what the hell of anything, I did accidentally activate a... What is it called? A save state. But I don't think we were moved very far. So things shouldn't be terrible. At least I don't think so. I miss this game's music. But yes, I completely forget exactly what we were planning on doing. The only things that I do remember is various things of, like, the late game dungeons have HMs locked behind key things, so I need to focus on keys. At least partially. Also need to handle this, my inventory management. That is also something that I have forgotten about. But first, let's see our job list. More than likely, we should go to Sky Tower and clear out our inventory a bit, because all of them are like, please help, hurry, take me with you, and I'm not a fighter. A little annoying that the escort mission is at the bottom. But I do believe that all of these... These should just be like the final dungeon of the Diddly D, the main game. First things first, I'm going to see. I need to go and find my friend. Join me, we're going on an adventure. And I will give you a gummy, so it's just out of my inventory. Here you go. Ah, it's Defense Rose, good. Let's check your IQ. Because I've... I've, I've <laughs> Again, I just quickly glanced at a few things before starting. I just want to make sure that everything is good. What's efficiency expert? Uh, lowest HP. And then, what about... Nope, we can only have one or the other. Alright. And since we're... I would like to return home. Now we'll quickly head into town to, like, uh, manage our inventory and stuff. I completely forget what voices I gave everybody. It's been so long. Hello there. Welcome to Kangaskhan Storage. Is there anything that I want to store? Uh, because we do need a few max elixirs. My rocks will be useful for poke. We need a good number of apples, because paranoia, paranoia, everybody coming to get me. Is there anything that I want to take with me? Ba-ba-ba. We have a large storage. Hmm. A little odd that the HMs, because Dive is an HM, and a bunch of these are not, they're TMs. I don't think... Really, one of these... Really, what I should do is probably just take all of these gummies. Like, uh, take these green gummies. Because is there a different green that's, like, one for grass, one for something else? I don't know. But... We'll quickly take these gummies so that Shane can have some gummy activation, get his IQ up. And I forget what is a level these will say. Steel type. Well, obviously. Obviously, obviously. Dragon type. Dark type. Clear gummy. Ice type. 
Gray Gummy, Rock Type. Where's the normal type IQ? I'll take these orange gummies for myself. I keep accidentally anti-activating. Because it's been a long time and I'm not used to controls. Yeah, we'll just take these gummies just so that we can munch on them. Gray gummy is, yeah, rock type. Just a lot of things. We have a lot of apples, at least. Is going to be a thing. We'll also need to go down there. Oh yeah, my moves. Are, I can't look at my moves. Well, I guess I can. What are my moves? I have my super combo. That's good. And my shadow ball. And he has his screech pound. Good, good. We have upgraded bullet seed. It's been a while since I've talked to everybody. Our team got the gold rank, but I think the rescue rates go higher than that. I'm gold rank, aren't I? I wonder what's higher than the gold rank. I can't imagine it. From now I'm living as Grand Bull. Sounds like natural disasters were interfering with our ability to evolve. <laughs> I'll become Ludicola. You know, Ludicola's a carefree Pokemon. I don't know about having my per personality become carefree. Would be weird to have your personality changed through evolution. We have 8,000 Pokey. Friends are my treasures. And all these are very expensive. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, this is just me to get back into the swing of things. Because I already have, like, a maxed out job list, so I can't take anything else. But it just would be interesting to look. There's another... We are not... We are not doing a double. We are not doing a double. Escort mission. What would you give me anyway? We have so many that are giving frustra- Oh no, wait, we already took that. Okay, good. I was just like, no, I can't take another one. Alrighty then. We'll quickly go and give the grass gummies to Shane. And then we will... Go forth. I have some gummies for you. Green gummy. Ah, oh, it's... N what is a green gummy, anyway? Bug type. Ah, I knew it. But you can have the green ones, anyway. Energy shaver. What is energy saver? Well, it's around here somewhere. Energy saver. That would be so ha- Or would it? Would that be handy, or is that just a, uh main party member thing. I could see that being a main party member thing, that only the leader gets it. Well, let's quickly see. Can you have it? Nope, it's non-sleeper or energy. But this one is only resists, but again, I don't know if energy saver is like an, a modifier onto the whole team, or if it's just for your main party member, the, the diddly D, the boss man. Of which I do assume it is Boss Man. I shall leave. We shall head back. I shall quickly swallow the other gummies that I... Oh, wait, I can't eat them in here. Very rude. Oh, well, I'll eat them once we get into the thing. Speaking of, yep, Sky Tower is done. Then because I am paranoid to the maximum, especially because I it's been a long time since I've gotten to the swing of things, save state. <gasps> the game's like, go to the buried relic. All right, at least now I know where it wants me to go again, but that is the hell zone. I'll need to do a bunch of grinding, of which I guess we'll just have this be a kind of grinding stream as I get back into the swing of things, and then I'll play the game in my own time to level us up, level up our IQ, and then we'll face basically the item shortage, the map more than anything thing. Well, off we go to Sky Tower. Oh. oh. 
And we... Ah, that's why. That is why we haven't done those yet. Darn you, game. Why must you? At that point, we might as well maybe delete some of these. How dare. That's very annoying. We could do Stormy Sea, but then we need to have Dive and, I think, a Water Type with us. That's very annoying. Well, at least that explains why I haven't gone to Sky Tower yet. Well, in that case, we'll just delete most of them. Because they are not worth it. We'll keep you because you're an A rank. But that is quite bothersome. And if I remember from my quick glancing around at a guide, because uh, I was just like, hmm, is there anything I need to know? Apparently, Fly is an infamous TM. Let's see. No, there doesn't seem to be any that will match up with us. There is a Frosty Forest B rank. Gives us a power band. I guess we'll take that. How very rude, game. And then we'll I just need to remember to eat my gummies once I get in there. Alright. Not Stormy Sea. Escort me to my love. Well, let's go then. To the Frosty Forest. Now, I just need to remember the controls. Because if I remember correctly, there are certain ways of doing things. Yep, that's how I do that. That helps you look around. Okay, good. Hmm. Also need to remember... Oh, wait, I forgot. I need to eat my gummies. Because I also know that there's a... Diddly D for... Doing the throw, like the, uh, the item that you have locked to yourself. And then there's also the button, maybe combination. Dang it. For some reason, Brain wanted to do a different button. Well, let's see. I am really just messing up all the controls. Bleg. Let's see. Others. Game options. No. Okay. I still wonder how to throw things. That's how I throw things. Okay, good. I have remembered controls. I am not a complete buffoon anymore. Hello, small child. You must die. The small child is dead. Long live the small child. How much damage does Rock do? Not all that much. Like I said, it's been a long time. I took a long break, and now I have returned. <laughs> so I throw rocks at uh, Pokemon children. Run away if you like. It will not save you. Of course, you have to waste your bullet seed. Am I going to have to turn off your bullet seed? But no, at least not for this dungeon. For later dungeons that are actually painful, I will have to do that. At least we, we found the exit. So it missed an attack and got a boost. Good for you. I shall throw a rock. How dare. So I will just punch you. Ah, you didn't get scared. We'll take Thief with us. We can at least sell it. Look at all these items. You picked the wrong way to run if you wanted to run away. I 
miss the music in this game. It's just delightful. Now you must die. How dare you try to flee your death. Be gone. You roll up on me going, I'm gonna kill you, and then you run away. How dare. Also, that was, that is our escorty. How double how dare you. For some reason, I just had a flashback to all of the evil we had to deal with in the 100 diddly D. The damnation dungeon of hoo-ha. Hoo in fact, speaking of that, do I have a special item on me? Team. Me. Summary. I have a stamina band, which I do believe lowers my belly consumption. Why, it's a nose pass. I'll throw a rock at ya. And then I'll headbutt ya. Uh, good job there. You're, you're still dead. I'll harden myself so that I'm harder to kill when I am one hit away from dying. Sorry there, Shane. But it did nothing to you. At least we have that. But the main, main reason why I was drawn back into playing this wonderful game again is because I just got shot with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Obsession. I don't know why, but I decided to look around because I wanted to read a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan fiction, and then I read a really good one. And so now my brain is conjuring the idea of various Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas. And I also wanted to play the games again. Well, yeah, games plural, because I eventually want to get to the other ones. <laughs> okay, sure. Nuke the poor ditto. We got a facade. Eh, should we sell the TMs or keep them? Because I know some... We literally have, or at least had, maybe still have, I forget. Well, hey, uh, hell is upon us. How dare you not die, you monster. You tried to kill me and you... You've tried to kill me twice with rocks and you just failed. You know, uh, for some reason... I completely forgot I could do that, even right after discovering that I could do that again. Granted, it's not like it. Yeah, I'll just do this a bunch. Why not? Die and suffer. Mutilate your soul. I wonder if they're ever gonna make another Mystery Dungeon game, because I know that they re literally remade these games for... The Switch, which I think was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon... Was it just Rescue Team DX, or was it Red and Blue? I forget. I forget entirely. But I do mean to get that eventually. I do think they changed it to be more like the future games. Ah, hell is upon us. Where certain things are mixed around a bit. Hey, frustration. I think that is literally the thing that I needed for one of them. One of my missions. Oh, wait, I forgot. We also got a gummy that I need to eat. Why save gummy when eat gummy? Also, I think the reason that I was holding off on using the gummies... Was because like, ah, it fills the belly a little bit, but this is not one that we need to worry about belly at all. How do gummies even raise intelligence? Is it the Flintstone gummies? They're finally pulling through. Off we go. You are horrible, and you are terrible, and now you will die. 
will take all these rocks. These rocks, they are mine. I will punch you in the face. You try to punch me back, you fail. Do I even want a nose pass? No, be gone. You'd probably be low level. And I just like, I, I, you're like neither a flying type, you're not a water type. I don't think that I have much use for a nose pass on the team. We leveled up! Hey, it's been a long time. Seems everything... Ooh, my special attack went up by one. Extra handy. Annihilate this man. This mon. Well, we've explored the dungeon. We shall now head on directly to the forehead. Ooh, an apple. How dare. This apple is mine. And now you... That is the second time that I moved so that my ally could move up alongside me and use just a normal attack and he's just like, nah, I'm gonna use my gun. Oh, well, we know where you are now. We know where the exit is. <laughs> Grovile. Just deciding I'm gonna become a sniper. Intellion? Never heard of it. Or whatever it's called. That also reminds me that I need to play, like, the other Pokemon games. Because I stopped at... Uh, did it a Crystal. And I've been meaning to get to Emerald eventually. Well, we can't abide by that. Be gone, Satan. Can't hurt our escortee. They're the paying customer. Murder this man. This man myth. Hello. You shall now die. I miss these games. They're just such a delight. That. Uh, Shane, why are you being a fool? He's like, oh no, I can't cross water. Granted, it is freezing. Shane! Why? Oh, is this just the, the, the hell zone of doom? Everyone just deciding, I'm not wanting to actually go a logical path. No, logical path is bad. All for a dead end anyway. What is wrong with you? I guess I also want to return to these games here because let us just say I have been going through it. As the kids doth say on the TikTok. But yeah, bad things happen. Hmm, oh, another stamina band. Is there anything that we are. What is our belly like? Our belly is 46 out of 100. We have a million apples, so why not? Yeah, as I was saying, been going through it, as it were. And I wanted to return to a comfort. Well, so long as we do not go. And, uh... To the levels of doom that is the 100 level dungeon. Because that is what stress is. Stress is the 100 level dungeon that decides we are going to ruin everything. Hmm. We have a full inventory and I don't feel like uh, dying today. We should probably stock up on apples, all things considered, because we do have, a, like, a ton of marathon levels that await us, the nightmare world. And I'm going to be, like, uh, fully transparent. I may very well, like, super save scum the next time we go to 
the world of hell that is the buried relic. Because I do remember that being a, a nightmarish evil of evils. Like, maybe I'll give myself just a mini... Uh, hello there. Mission has been completed. Now we'll go all the way to the... Would you like to leave? No. I would like to continue and get items. Blast seed, don't care. Apple. Because I guess we don't really have much use. Because at this point... When it comes to, like, orange berries, it's not even really, like, anything. Orange berries aren't really that important to me, mostly due to the fact that I... M my modus operandi is to just murder the, them first. Don't give them a chance. This is just tunnels. All of them are tunnels. I think I was on a thought process, and my thought process went off the rails, but yeah. When we go back to the buried relic, I might not super save scum. Well, then again, save scumming at all is super save scumming, I guess. But I won't just do it every single flaw. Maybe every ten floors, considering there's a hundred of them. Meaning that if something goes wrong, I will have to uh, bounce back to hell. Now let's kill this man. I missed, you did no damage, it all works out in the end. How dare you hit me. I love the music in this game. The music, the graphics. I wonder what a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game would look like if it was done in that, like, 2.5D Octopath Traveler kind of style. Jesus Christ. There's so many TMs. Hmm. Note to self, in the future... When I'm not going into a uh, scary dungeon, I should not bring uh, Orenberry. Why would you do that, you fool? Yeah, so basically on item runs, I should not have much need of Orenberries or... Max elixirs. Okay, good. Shane didn't get distracted by the snow runt and want to go kill it. A snow runt I must go murder. Thank you for escorting me. I do still feel sad that the game is like, you beat the main story, N now you don't get to experience anything with your partner ever again. I do find that a bit odd. I think that's partly why I enjoyed Explorers a bit more, because it made it more about the partner. As well as kind of gave the partner more of a personality, because... Again, I adore the partner in this game. Oh, fan club seeks members. Let's read. We are proudly announcing the foundation of the Red and Blue Fan Club, an organization for supporting Pokemon rescue teams. We are currently recruiting new members. Won't you join and throw your support behind our hardworking rescue heroes? Plus, we'll end mine in. Store. Damn it, I should have taken this as well. Hmm. So we have a Mount Steel, Mount Thunder, and a Frosty Forest. Let us quickly head into town, where I will probably store a bunch of my stuff. I would like to store. Let's see. Definitely. Hmm. 
and the max elixir, and the big. We'll still have two reviver seeds, because you can you can never be too paranoid. You can never be uh, superficially super. And we, it's just 422 Pokey, and we're not going to go on any major ones, so I doubt we'll have much need. There is a Mount Thunder. Hmm. A Mount Freeze and a Mount Thunder. One Aerial Ace, ha but I don't have a Aerial Ace. We do have a... Well, honestly, it'll be forever until we get to Sky Tower, so it'll be gone. So... Mount Thunder... and Mount Freeze. Take me! We'll quickly take a look and see what our mailbox specifically has. I guess I could take them both and check. It's a Mount Steel with a Frosty Forest. Darn it, and the Mount Thunder is a D. They just give an item. Ah, we'll take you, and we'll take you. Because maybe we'll get another Frosty Forest. That's worth a doing. Okay, first. We have a Mount Thunder, Frosty Forest, and then the Stormy Seas. Meh. A part of me kind of wants to do the Stormy Seas, but I'm also scared of it. And all these are C rank. Except for that one D. You're willing to give me a yellow gummy. Hmm. That'll just be it for now. We shall now head back, grab Shane, and run to, I guess, Mount Thunder. To my friend. It would be very disturbing if the game would allow you to dismiss your partner in the post-game. Say farewell to your ally, your dear friend who has cared about you this entire time, and you just kick them to the curb. That would be almost scary. As always, an emergency save in case I go crazy and something dies. Mount Thunder. Mount Thunder. We'll just do a few rounds of this as I get back into the swing of things. And then again, I'll probably do some grinding on my own time. I think that's actually what the, like, cause of my, like, uh, diddly D was. It was originally supposed to be just, oh, I'm going to go and uh, do grinding for a bit, and then I just completely forgot because of everything. You shall not come near the queen. Literally. Nido queen. Die. Ah, you lived. I'm honestly surprised Shane didn't nuke you. Enemy within certain level of tiles shall destroy. I just love these games. That's why I need to play them more. As well as uh, go and experience uh, the other ones that I haven't played. Like uh, Gates to Infinity and uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. I've been meaning to get to them, but again, the brain just hates actually doing things. And then I also need to re-experience Explorers of uh, Sky, because it has also been forever since I played that, and I never played the 
post-game of that either. So that will be an experience that I long to have. How dare you attack me with no damage. <laughs> Although this is kind of amusing. Imagine you're like putting up a thing like, I need an escort through this scary dungeon place. I wonder what level of adventure I will get one of the highest ranked. Just coming in, swatting aside the... Like, what even are you guys? The fanfics always call them feral Pokemon, but you can recruit them. So what's the deal with these, with these Pokemon? Are they like outlaws who are like hiding out in here? And then they get impressed by your strength when you beat them? Or are they feral Pokemon? And that's... At least... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Do not kill the queen. She's already dead last year. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder what the in-universe justification is, because these Pokemon are in a mystery dungeon... And they just come at you, swinging entirely. They do not care about your well-being. I forget if we have an Electric or not. You can join us, I guess. What nickname shall we give you? You shall be Tim. Tim. You are now Tim. Congratulations, Tim. You can come on an adventure with me. And once again, just loop him back, because, again, all the fanfics that I've read refer to them as feral Pokemon, who, like, went into a mystery dungeon and, like, lost their minds. Or at least I assume that's what it is. None of them really went into it so far. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. I'm gonna throw a rock at you! One even had the amusing thing of like, ah oh, yes, Pokemon do eat meat. It's from feral Pokemon because they're non-sentient. Which is hilarious and dark. Because how does that even work? If there were non-sentient humans, would we go like, ah oh, yes! the non-sentient human meat. I... F <laughs> the other one, the other fanfic that I read was just like, ah, oh, yeah, there's feral Pokemon in the dungeons. Everyone is vegan. <laughs> just didn't even want to touch that. But as for the actual games, they obviously didn't think about it too much. They're just like, Hmm, obviously you'll want to create your own Pokemon team of adventuring. So what if we gave the players the opportunity to recruit other Pokemon by besting them in a mystery dungeon? And that was basically the long and short of it. They didn't feel the need to, like, super explain. And the reason why Pokemon are in there who are attacking you, but are willing to, like, join you if you beat them. Like, no, they didn't bother. They're like, ah, it's a video game. Why do we care about, like, explaining the nuances, the minutia of recruitment mechanics in a Pokemon mystery dungeon game? Asshole. Either way, you are now dead from across the room. The Weedle says, Be stringed! And then did nothing with that. Hello there. We have returned your queen. Uh, we would not like to leave. We would like to continue on our adventure, because why not? And as always, crack Ow. Pain. Pain. Would have been hilarious if I hit him again and became paralyzed again. 
Ah, to become paralyzed, but then unharmed because you were too strong. Weak enough that you can be paralyzed, but strong enough that that literally changes nothing. You can paralyze me all you want, but you still cannot hurt me. Be gone, Stantler. You shall die. Although this is kind of a terrifying world if you think about it. You're just going along, minding your business, then you might fall into a ever-changing and shifting dungeon of hell. You just go forth with shifting walls and random Pokemon who are like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Why? Nobody knows. Maybe they're just an asshole. The Stantler will die. He dare glare at me. Although I think glare is a completely different move. Well, this is a way down. I keep wasting my belly. Because I'm like, hmm, I should go over here. Or maybe I should go over here. Congratulations, you did nothing. I shall swing my ass around the corner and hit the enemy. Alas, you did not. But at least we replaced the apple we used, and I shall eat this gummy myself. Nom nom. Ah, another gummy. Yum yum. What is gold for? Because we have yellow. For psychic types. I think that would be... Hmm. My brain would go, shouldn't that be purple? Purple feels more psychic-y than gold. I'm not the one making the rules. What even is a gummy at this point in this world? Eh, come here, I'll kill you. I'll throw rocks at you. I'll punch you in the face with my face. Now I'm imagining a face that literally, like, clinches like a fist does in preparation of attack. Yeah, well, this is handy. I think we went everywhere. So now we can go down the stair. Well, up the stair. Fear me, for I am the Stairmaster. Oh, yeah, and I completely forgot that we had a second mission for this. Good thing that I'm just like, oh, these are easy dungeon. I go in. Because why not? We save you, Beedrill. Be gone. How do the rescue badges even work? What magical shenaniganry go into them to allow you to teleport others and yourselves? <laughs> Does it have to be consensual? Like, do somebody have to agree to being teleported? Or could you just, like, an evil Pokemon uh, rescue badge and just teleport them elsewhere with a whole army just waiting? Like, wouldn't that be the best capture system? Granted, it would also... Well, I mean, it's no different than what it, we're doing now, really, when it comes to outlaws and everything. A criminal went to hide in a mystery dungeon. You send in one really fast guy who pokes the criminal with their rescue badge, and the criminal just gets teleported back to a veritable army waiting to bash their face in. That would be fantastic, I say. Congratulations, Tim. You've leveled up. You get super stats because you're low level. Meanwhile, we don't get super stats because we're like a third of the way to the level cap, I think. Which is kind of amusing to think about. Whoosh. Whoosh. And it doesn't seem like there's any... How dare you? Any new places to go this level, so we leave. An apple! Yes! 
This has officially been a net positive. We ate one apple, we got two. I'll just bash your face in with my face. How dare you growl. Now you must die. <laughs> Everyone... Oh, it's because... Ah, Tim has a ability that allows him to tank all of the electric attacks for us. If he's in the room. And the reason why he didn't do that earlier was because we were in a tunnel. And that do technically doesn't count-ish, I think. Tunnels are weird. Mystery dungeon or no, tunnels are weird. Eh, nah. Because really, we'll need to recruit some high-level Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe bring some legendaries in. Do we have any legendaries? Maybe if I have the right areas, I can go and beat up, like, Moltres again. Get them on my side. Just everybody wants to join. But no, you don't get to. Though that is kind of funny. They're like, hey, I know I was just trying to kill you a moment ago, but I was super inspired by the way you kicked my ass. Would you allow me to work alongside you? I totally won't betray you. That would actually be an interesting mechanic. Probably very bothersome and annoying, but I, I kind of like the idea of, like, you recruit a Pokemon, and then there's a chance that further into the dungeon of their recruitment, they might betray you. But as a safeguard, if you leave the dungeon, before a Pokemon betrays you, they'll never betray you because I feel like that would be more fair. But also would constantly have you paranoid. But at the same time, that's kind of... <laughs> if you had just beat up somebody and they're like, Oh my god, I've seen the error of my ways. Allow me to join you. Wouldn't you be kind of suspicious of them? So I just think that that would be an amusing mechanic that would also be very annoying, if overdone. But then leads to the obvious code spaghetti that, if left untreated, that means that unique, very rare, and maybe even legendary Pokémon could then betray you. Which again, would be friggin' hilarious, but would also just be very annoying and sad. At long last, I have gotten this Pokemon on my side. Immediate betrayal. You are the second Gliger to want to join me, and I say no. Are you the same Gliger who went and ate an orange berry and came running back? Maybe this time they'll take me. The answer is no. How dare you. You better not want to join, too. We've already turned down two Gligers. For a moment, I thought Tim had uh, uh, fallen and disappeared. He was just covered by the text box. Oh, no. I have been... Paralyzed again. I've been paralyzed and he dare look at me. I've been paralyzed, he looked at me and then he lunged at me. And now he is dead. How dare you. I need to find a stat reset, which was behind us. But I saw this one up here, so it was just like, ah, I will go up there. Leave Tim alone. Let the child alone. The fine will eat an apple, so we'll at least come out even if we don't find another one.
lots of winding. Is that a reviver seed? If we find a reviver seed, I will call that a super duper. It's a blast seed. God damn it. I think a blast seed will do less damage than my normal lunge. Although, now that I come to think of it, that is one thing that is slightly, oh no, and worrying when it comes to the later Mystery Dungeon games. Because if I recall, they do away with your infinite able to just uh, lunge and do decent damage move. Your basic attack. And they replace it with a piddly poke damage. You like, you go, you do it, it does like five damage. And it's just like, why? I guess it made it too easy, but... Like, I'm not sure what kind of, I don't know, strategy they expect you to use to get around. Like, the lack of a generous move. Obviously, I'll have to deal with that once I get to Gates to Infinity. But that is a thing for future me to worry about. Current I must not worry at all. I got Pokey, and a white gummy, and 60 rescue points. A heal seed, and a gold gummy, and gravel rock, and 20 points. Gravel rock is good. I would slightly be worried that I failed to save there, but I can just do that. Also, why would they make it so that it defaults to no, I don't want to save, when literally there is no reason not to save if you've returned from a dungeon? Flap, 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 it's the pelican man. With the mail in his mouth, he does what he can. What if I recruited the mail office? Rostberry's effects. Research has revealed that rost berries found in dangerous dungeons are usually unripened and colored green. When ripe, they turn a sky blue color. An unripened one is easier to eat, however, because it, it has not yet turned bitter. It is known to heal all burns. Vile plumes, weighty problem. Damn it, I stored it instead of reading it. I am a fool. Vile Plume are widely recognized for their massive flower. However, few dare to approach Vile Plume because they scatter clouds of allergy inducing pollen. Vile Plume complain that they tire very easily because of the top flower's weight, because they're making their head heavy. Sad for you. Is there anything special with you guys? Hello, welcome to the Castleon shop. We can buy a Reviver Seed, which. Honestly. Well, first, let's see. What is a person ban? Stops from being confused. Not really a thing I need to worry about most of the time. But I will buy a Reviver Seed. Because Reviver Seed is very handy at all times. And what do you have to sell, Mr. Random Man? Dig and secret power. I wonder if dig is important. Maybe we should read. Uh, okay, this user status becomes digging and it's attacks next turn. It is not possible to link this move. Interesting. Because we have a Mount Steel. Ooh, lots of uproar forests. Oh, deliver one green gummy and I got rid of them all. I am a fool. But the other ones are simple looking. We'll take two uproar forests. Because why not take this? Take that. We might not have a green gummy to give you. Or other person. And now we'll make sure. Hello there. Welcome to Kangaskhan Storage. Well, I would like to 
Secret Power, Cherry, Pekka. We'll keep you, Pekka, Orem, Reviver. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. And we have... Uh, and we'll put the white gummy in there, because I don't think we have a white gummy. And uh, <laughs> the game has just thrown out in front of me. You want to remember to keep extra gummies on you. And while I think about it... Uh, what info? I just wanted to see if I could find which ones I've already done. And you're just going on forever. Ding! I hit the thing again! This is what. <laughs> All right. I would like to first see. I have done all that exists. That is the one handy thing of playing on emulation. <laughs> you could just skip anything and not have to worry about it. Whom would you like to visit? My friend is grinning happily. Join the team. We will go on a magical adventure. All right. Job list. They are already open. Good, good. As always, save because paranoia. One of these days I will select load and that will be hilarious and painful. Murder that poor man. He begins to approach, and we decide murder for you. Oh, hey, a grass gummy. Which is perfect for you. If anyone ever wants a grass gummy for a mission, they are going to have to get bent. All grass gummies go directly to Shane. Because he is a big, growing boy, and he needs all his intelligence. Imagine if that's how it worked for humans. We're like, I need to grow smarter. You just eat a certain plant. Granted, there probably is a plant out there that, if you eat, will stimulate a certain kind of thing for... Like, I don't know. In, in, I'm trying to think of the right words. It'll encourage brain. That is all. It will encourage brain. A hair seed. Does it just heal all status effects, I assume? An apple! Yay! We're already coming out ahead. Be gone, Venonat. How dare you disable me. Bring me my wheelchair. We've only run into Sea Dots and Venonats, I think. He did it again! You jerk! And you didn't even do anything with it. It's like if you somehow broke uh, Superman's legs and then you still couldn't hurt him any other way. How can you hurt his legs if you can't hurt him anything else? Kill him. Murder him. Shane just likes shooting people. Granted, if you basically were a gun and had the capability of shooting people, you would probably be trigger happy too. Obviously, this means that Shane is headcanoned as American. Where is Pokemon America? Hmm, what does Fog do? I throw rock. I shall throw rock again. And I punch you in the face. Ah, 
apple and orenberry. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it is uh, slightly better because now they're all dead. That is not what was required of you. How dare you not be faster, little monkey man. Uh, <laughs> that is amusing. Took no damage, took no damage, took no damage. In rapid succession. I guess we'll go this way then. We know where the exit is now. Punch in the face. How dare you try to run away? We walk up while you're sleeping, punch you in the face, and you try to leave? Do you have no sense of decorum? We must murder this man. This bug man. Also looking at it from a quote-unquote realistic perspective, like treating this as a living, breathing world, what happens to the Pokémon that we knock out? What does happen to them? I guess one could just assume that nothing happens to them because they're in a mystery dungeon and all of the feral Pokémon or whatever, like, don't attack each other, so... If they, if you knock one out, they'll just go, Oh yes, I have fallen. And then their allies will just like hang around until they wake up. Unless you want to go a fucked up route and they just eat the dead one. Bide. This is a bad move. Why do damage later when you can do damage now? Fine, we come to you, and murder you. Get punched in the face. How dare you run? Imagine just blindly throwing a rock into the darkness. Going, I know you're in there, and now you will die. You did not need to do that, Shane. He would have died anyway. Another apple. A green gummy that we will save even though that one mission will probably be gone now. And plus, <laughs> hilarious is that we would have been able to give them a green, uh, a green gummy because we found a green gummy. Hmm. I wonder if that's part of the system where if you get a, hey, come give me an item request and you don't have the item, if there is an increased chance to find that item lying on the floor of the dungeon as you work towards your uh, employer, I guess. You ever get punched by a seed? A sentient seed that just stares at you and then punches you. It craves nothing more than your blood. I see the Venonats have learned that Disable is worthless because they can't even hit me, so why bother trying to survive longer? And now, you shall die. You do not even get to run. The only thing for you is death. I throw a rock at you. I throw a rock at you. I throw a rock at you. You might be able to cause random screen effects, but you can't kill me. I would probably out-heal their damage. Rock. At least we're getting tons of apples. Rock. 
rock. Eevee, the sniper. Give them a rock, they throw them with perfect precision accuracy. Rock. Headbutt. Yes, keep growing so that you might die. You might grow, you might die a big boy, but you will die. I don't think there's any more rooms here. How why do you why are you going for him? What has he done to you? He just walks up, paralyzes the grass type, and tries to kill him. What goes on inside the head of these mystery dungeon Pokemon? Murder, murder, murder. Hoppa ha ha ha. Ah, destination floor. Now I'm imagining Pokemon Final Destination. That's slightly horrifying. One second. Now you all get to die. That will not save you. I do think Harden would be interesting if, like, you used it and then, it, like, increased the damage of your physical attacks that you, like, throw yourself at him. Hmm. Uh, ground. I will throw. Oh, hey, it's you. And now you are dead. Hmm. Another dark thought is, just imagine in the, uh, once again, treat this as a living, breathing world. How many times has a mystery dungeon team gone into a mystery dungeon looking for, like, a, a client to save, only to accidentally kill them? They just are extremely trigger-happy with their rocks. For a moment, I thought you were an enemy, but then I walked through you. Because I can't see your little, like, icon below you. Once again, I believe we have two missions for this. Flee all you like, you are still dead. Rock. Die. Destination floor. I will grow. I will harden. And then you will die. I want to join you. You literally did nothing. I know how to increase my stats a lot. Too bad you don't know how to use your stats. Congratulations, you've earthquaked, you quaked the earth and uh, did one damage to me. You are a failure to your forefathers. How do you miss an earthquake? Not that I'm complaining, I just find it amusing. I shake the earth itself. And it does nothing. What are you even doing here? Should you have an... Nope, yeah, you should not have an advantage. It's the Mega Cargo that should have had an advantage. Eh, let's go ahead and get out of here then. Thank you for rescuing me. Give us all the points in the world. Money, secret power, and points. And then my friend doesn't get to join in on the celebration. He gets sent back to the forest. Only I get to live in the house. 
After all, I'm the human. Don't you know only the humans are allowed in the house? Then again, it would be very weird to live in a house with the shape of a human head. Sea Rescue Success. Read. A high seas rescue in the stormy sea by Team Sea Dragons ended yesterday with the successful recovery of a tentacle. The client, Corsola, is said to be delighted by the outcome. Tentacle stated, I didn't realize how far I'd been washed out to sea. The stormy sea is unforgiving. You are a water type. As a result of the natural disasters, there have been many reports of pitfall traps appearing in dungeons. However, there also appear to be pitfalls made by Pokémon that are not harmful. The latter are thought to be made by foraging Swinub. Some even turn out to be hot springs that erupt occasionally. Weird. We have 2,000 points. Hmm. I guess I'll go ahead and, like buy a friend thing. Friends are my treasures. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club. Let's see. There's the secretive forest. I guess I could also actually look at them. The frigid cavern has a few. The ice flow beach has ish. Final Island only has one. Hmm. I feel like that's for, like, Mew? Maybe. Cryptic Cavern. I guess I'll buy you, because why not? Gotcha, let's do it! Wiggly tough, wiggly tough, let's be friends. Oom -ta! I now own a cave. I can buy a mystic waterfall. Or a lake lake. Of which apparently I've run into none of them. I guess I'll buy the most expensive of the two. Why not? Yumta. I have bought land. I have bought real estate. Specifically so that I can press gang people into my adventure club and then never use them. Let's see. Hmm. There's a Mount Blaze B. Which I guess we can do. Granted, I probably should have looked at others, because I have Stormy Sea, Mount Blaze, Frosty Forest, nope, nothing else. We will grab Shane. Wait, first we'll probably want to store a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Oh wait, no, wrong button at all. I meant want to store this entire one. I forgot to eat the gold gummy. Well. And that will be it. And now off we go to Mount Blaz. Through the power of Mount Blaz, we shall conquer the world. Join the team for today. Always job list, Mount Blaze, take the job, and uh, Paranoia Save State. To Mount Blaze we go. One of those places we went while avoiding death at the hands of our friends. And it's another Nido Queen. Well, at least you aren't weak to fire moves. That's at least something.
Orange gummy? Oh yeah, thank you for reminding me, game. I shall eat gold gummy. Nom nom. And then I shall eat... Orange gummy. Nom nom. Get away from the client! Leave the client alone! It's like escorting a famous Pokemon. There have to be, like, Pokemon... Like, celebrities. Hey. How dare you. Because in this world, we only know about rescue teams and famous rescue teams. But what if there was, like, a famous Pokemon poet? Where's my Pokemon poets? Would a Pokemon in this world have done the Poke Rap? <laughs> and then they'd be like, oh man, a new Pokemon was discovered. I have to update the Poke Rap. I just really love this game. It's just very soothing, at least until you get to the super dungeons that hate your guts that are an entire marathon and want you to die. Then it becomes a bit of a pain. But when it comes to, like, the core stuff, I like it. It's good. I'll have to eventually get through the painful hell zone, but again, that's later, after I do some grinding. Jesus Christ, you almost died and would have cost me a reviver seed. How dare. And the, and the funny thing is, I'm not even sure if grinding will save me. Then again, I guess it depends. Like, if I went into, like, say, the Buried Relic... And I went in with the the plan of, I don't care about picking up anything. I just have healing, a belly, like I have food, healing, and move restores out the wazoo. And then with maybe one or two empty places for like a, a key to go if I find it on the way. Here up our status ailments. Be gone, bird. Your sand means nothing to me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do not... What is with the many camels trying to kill my escortee? Did you piss off the camel mafia, Nido Queen? Again! Th that was dangerously close to the damn little thing trying to attack the queen! <laughs> Seeing that little camel run about on lava, it just doesn't look right. Not very effective, it does basically the same amount of damage as it always does. That was very amusing. Oh, sorry, it's not very effective. It's just like, well, I didn't notice a difference. Rock. 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 It would have been hilarious if I landed that last rock, it still didn't kill him. And then Shane went, time to be a gun, and absolutely nuked him. You know, for a moment there, I didn't expect that to work. For me to just go in between. But hey, so long as it works. Nothing. 
going this way. How dare. Be gone, little man. You have set me on fire. I do believe that I am on fire. <laughs> do not hit the queen. Okay, good. It didn't go for the queen. Would have been very mean. Time to die, little camel man. Give us all that money. In fact, I think that's where the majority of our money does come from, the floor. Although that does leave the disturbing implication that other Pokemon have come into this dungeon. And they did not leave. God damn it, Shane. Follow me. Do not go. I am going to walk away along the riverbank of lava, waving. You idiot, Shane. You're meant to come with me. A very odd level. I shall murder these two and be on my way. I've now fallen asleep. I, he tried to set me on fire, and I sleep. I wonder how that would go for, like, an actual fire type. They get set on fire, and... Shane decides to become a sniper once again. Yeah, go ahead. Try and set me on fire. It won't work. How is this Eevee fireproof? Levels. By doing this workout every single day, you too can also become fireproof. Well, that would be one hell of a workout. The fuck are you doing here? I don't think you're a fire type. He tried to smog me. Wow, would you look at that? We'll grab that money and go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and leave as well. Because why not? That was a day of rescue work. Go ahead and save, because why not? What mail shall we get today? What job requests? Slack off pillows for insomnia. Relief for delicate souls who can't sleep with different pillows. Insomniacs rejoice over the announcement of the slack off pillow, which is said to induce sleepiness just by seeing it. Already the inventor is swamped with inquiries from all over. However, production is said to have not uh, to not yet be ready. Is it because he's sleeping? Linked moves a pro level number one. These linked move combinations can be devastating. Raise a leaf and sleep powder, so you can do damage and then activate a diddly d body slam and reflect. Screech and pound. Hey, that's mine. Focus energy and karate chop. Tail whip and boom boomerang. Boner meringue. As always, we shall. Well, first. Well, I guess first, first, we should see what jobs we potentially have. Damn you, why do you exist? Save my child! 
give a brown gummy. And somebody wants a blue gummy in Frosty Forest. Let's see. I have... Oh, I... Do I have a blue gummy, though? And all these are... And I guess I'll take you for future. Because you're a C. I'll see if I have a blue gummy and keep you. And then if worst comes to worst, we'll just go save a child. Alright, first I would like to store... Special band, yes. Now, do we have a blue gummy? It does not look like we have a blue gummy. Oh no. Or it could just be my mind is just going cross eyed scene. Gummy, 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 gummy. Nope, no blue gummy. Which means it's off to the magma hell for me. Unless one of you has a blue gummy that you would like to sell me. The answer seems to be no. Very well, off we go to hell. Of course, I want to visit my dear friend. Because we have no blue gummy. I mean, we could maybe do the that one, but meh. We shall go into the magma cavern and save somebody and get a brown gummy. For our duty, I guess. As always save state before we go in because paranoia paranoia game is coming out to get me magma cavern also known as that place we went and almost died while we were hunted by our friends i punch you i miss you miss this is a real boxing match Another special band. Did all of my, like, escortees come this way? We just escort five billion people. They all end up in a place where we now need to beat them up. I slam into you with my face. He slams into you with his ass. All things are balanced. Hello, Raticate. Die. I don't know which way he went, because I'm a fool. But in the end, my blind firing with a rock still got him. Congratulations, you kicked me, but you did hardly anything. Once more, I'm fairly certain that I can outheal most anybody's damage against me. And Jesus Christ, that is a lot of money. This is what happens when you do low-level dungeons for a while. Once again, I just adore the music in these games. Hey, it's a red gummy! Not a blue gummy or a grass gummy. You have killed a small slumbering child. Once again. And the grander idea of, hey, let's look at this world through real, uh, quote unquote, realistic lens. A rescue team has totally accidentally murked their rescue target in the past. There's a mon over there. I've got him! Wait, no! Well, we could just rescue the body, can't we? That counts.
I mean, on some level, this game did, like, kind of comment on the idea of, like, kind of corrupt rescue teams where, like, that one rescue team, like, only did, like, easy slash... Well, maybe, yeah, maybe not easy, but, like, only did ones that, like, paid well. I could see there also being a rescue team that's like, I have a perfect record because I refuse to do anything that's actually challenging. Then again, if you didn't have a perfect record, that would mean that some Pokemon died. The horror. And once again, you shot a child. At least we have now we are now up one apple. And now I am down one poison. I guess this is the type of game that you would like go into and make notes. Warning to self, uh, enemies are uh, evil. They are bastards. They poison. I throw sand in your face. I whap you with my tail. Then I smack you in the head and I still miss. My tail whip damages enemies. His tail whip smacks them in the face and makes them scream. Maybe I should have brought an orange berry. We need to get to the exit. Rock. Sand in your face. Tail in your face. Face in your face. Ah, the disco lights are on. We must be in the 80s. Why ain't you a stalker man? I'm by right behind you. That man just wanted to be missed by everything. Well, first off, rock. Second, sand. Tail. Face. And now with the ability of walking around, we heal. I... Wait, did you just come out of the wall, Nido Queen? Oh, Jesus Christ. Smack to your face. Rock to your face. Well, on the plus side, maybe we'll level up. Because that at the same time, it's not like that's terribly much more. It's just... We did get an onslaught of enemies there, and they are dropping a decent amount of experience. Ba -ba. You're supposed to wait for him to come forward, then do that. But one thing I do, like, really enjoy about the Mystery Dungeon, or at least Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, is that it's one of those games that can be uh, slotted into the category of Fan Fiction the Video Game, which is one of my favorite things, where they're just like, we're going to go on a magical adventure using a plot structure that feels like it could be a good fan fiction. I need to remember that I placed uh, the fast forward option on the right stick, since the DS doesn't use the sticks, but sometimes when I get like, uh, kind of distracted, I like to twiddle with the sticks a bit. Because it's like, oh, this stick isn't being used for anything, I'll just mess with it like a fidget toy. And then it's just like, ha, ah, you fool, you have now traveled through time. The new hit Isekai, coming to you. I thought, uh, I treated my controller like a fidget toy, and now I'm in the future. Bastard. 
Double bastard. What if I throw a rock at you? Welcome to Rock Wars. You have done the most damage of a single Pokemon this entire, like, play session, not counting that one Needle Queen, which bashed me over the head with poison. Well, technically two Needle Queens that bashed me over the head with poison back to back on two different levels. Please don't explode. Never mind, you're gonna die. Because I just remember... <laughs> now I remembered getting chased through the buried ruin thing. With a bunch of explosion users coming after me. It's like playing Team Fortress 2 and the other team is nothing but Dimomen. Dimopan? Now I'm imagining Team Fortress 2 Mystery Dungeon. I should probably do this. I'll try and nuke you as fast as possible, give you the least amount of opportunity to poison me. How dare you scratch me, small child man. You must die. That's just a corner? Oh, hello, man. You may die now. And I think that's it. To the next floor. Oh, boy, it's a... Every single time we spawn in, there's a guy that looks like he might just be able to explode my face off. We also spawn just correctly enough so Shane can just turn and shoot him. Oh no, it's the mad Graveler Bomber! Shane takes out his Glock. Not anymore. You bastard. With a magnitude 9. If we were actually proportionally leveled for this, that would have murked us immediately. What a bastard. Hello, Magmar. Would you kindly die? Ah, black gummy. The forbidden mold. Thank you for coming to our mur murdering you convention. I see you have brought the spice. You bastard. I was wondering what would when that burn would actually burn. Don't you dare. No explosions, no magnitude. You die. And because I have an ailment, I shall leave. I wonder if there's a super scarf that's just like no status effect for you ever. That would be nice. I would probably still use like uh, my stamina band more than anything. Ow, I have been I have been diddly deed. Such is life. You ever shoot a snake? Solid snake. Hey, it's a Mawile. I like Mawile. You bastard. You bastard. Stop. I'm gonna use magnitude. I just keep rolling the dice. Graveler, the gambling manblin. Like, really, the ideal, like, situation for me to do the Buried Relic would to just be, like, be such a good level that I could just headbutt everything to death and just have a box full of apples. And then I'd have to suffer the sticky traps that are like, eh, 
And now you will lose your apple. Because floor traps that you can't see. I hate that. Oh no. It's the bastard man and his son. Fuck. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. And now I'm gonna punch you in the face. You know, if... <laughs> now I'm wondering what, like, a third person or, yeah, like a third person dungeon crawling Pokemon Mystery Dungeon experience would be like. If you get knocked into one of these walls, it just like does super damage against you and oh boy, they're all coming to murder me. <laughs> Shane cringed. I can't believe that he was cringe all along. Rock. 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 You ever get beaten up by a rock? Quit making Shane cringe. I'm just imagining like a mystery dungeon meme. I'm not cringe, your cringe bites them. Well, that's mean. Double mean. Why is crying lowering my special attack or defense or whatever? My special something. It lowered a stat. And that's all that's important to me. I mean, I guess we come down, reclaim our, lo our lost rock. Please, kill him. Do not allow him to dance. Coming to you this whenever. This heartwarming family story. But mother, I want to dance. I will kill you before I let you dance. Granted, that probably is something that has actually happened in the world, because the world is an insane place. You go, haha, this is ridiculous and would never happen. And then it did one time. And you ask yourself, how the hell could it have happened? And the answer is there. Humanity. Well, we're getting a bunch of red gummies. How many red gummies? A shit ton of red gummies. I'm going to eat some of them. It'll fill my belly a little bit. And make me smarter. Through the power of Einstein gummies, I become smart. You can't make me cringe, because I'm already cringe. You cannot verb what you are noun. I had to think about that for a moment. Just like, what are the proper grammar names? I know how to grammar. I just don't know the proper grammar ne like uh, uh, titles. Well, I'm out of moves, so now I'm going to have to punch you in the face of my face. Be gone, Satan. I could use Shadow Ball if I really wanted to. Hey, congratulations. You're getting Shadow Balled. Die. <laughs> Just me. It's like, hmm, I should be more conserved with my attacks. I could always use this other one. Volunteer appears. Time for murder. Hmm. 
once again coming to the realm of if we treat the Mystery Dungeon world as a living, breathing world, would the Pokemon have created movies? And if so, would Mr. Mime had become it? The Demon Clown. Is there another clown Pokemon? I don't think there is. You bore me, and now you die. Shadow Ball. How dare you come forth and punch me in the face, Shadow Ball. Ah, destination floor. I was just about to say, hmm, I'm afraid. I'm running low on my moves because I kept using them will and nilly. Will we survive? Also, why are there so many spikes here? Is this home of murderers? Individual whom we are to save. Oh, there you are, individual whom we are to save. Be gone. And now we should probably leave as well. Because I do not want to die. Look at all the experience points that I have. Thousands. That was a lot of saving that I did. All by myself and nobody can contradict me because my, my friends live in the designated adventurer housing. It's like mining towns. I own the real estate. Hmm, that would be an interesting mechanic, at least for in this vein, where you're able to go and basically create your own guild, in a way. Linked moves, pro level 2. Confusion plus disable, bite plus scary face, flame wheel plus smoke screen, Thunderbolt plus double team, Tail Whip plus Double Slap, yep. Hmm. I guess we'll take that Mount Thunder one. I still don't have a blue gummy, though. I might have to be... <laughs> I might just have to throw some people to the wolves here. Wouldn't that be disappointing? You're like... I sent out this thing so that somebody will know to come save me sometime soon. And then somebody's like, yeah, I'll do this one eventually. And then they decide to instead throw your thing away. Alright, there's two Mount Steels. And a Mount Thunder. Ah, uh, but these are level E's. E, 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 E. One orange gummy. Do I have an orange gummy? I'll need to see. Also, I think playing this game, streaming it tonight, was the right idea. Because all day, for quite a while now, I have had just evil headache that just refused to leave me alone. And yeah, even the brown gummy. And then I'll look for the orange gummy. Yeah, but ever since starting the stream, Brain has been very happy. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, I don't think we have an orange gummy. Damn it. have Mount Thunder, Silent Chasm, Lapis Cave, two Frosty Forests, but we need a blue goddamn begami. I'm looking for a blue gummy. How dare you not have any blue gummies? You are a terrible shop. Hmm, 
There's a Sinister Woods. Uproar Forest. Pickle day, pickle day. I mean, if we really want to, we could. Wait. Wait, no. Mount Thunder. I was dumb. I was looking at the wrong one. Or at least I think I did. Yeah, Mount Steel. Because I think I was thinking about that other Mount Steel one we have in our mailbox perpetually, because I refuse to throw it out. That person has been, like, stuck on Mount Steel for years. So, uh, all right, Mount Thunder it is. We'll have to throw somebody else out, though. Cool, gets thrown away. Bye-bye, Silent Chasm. At least that one wasn't the worst. It's like, I want to see my friend. No. You don't get to see your friend. Your friend is dead now. I went there specifically to kill them. I'm gonna wear their skin and pretend to be your friend and reap all of your friendship. Now that would be a creepy like idea for a movie where somebody has killed your friend and is wearing their skin and everybody is just like, ah, oh, yes, it's your friend. And you're like, but that is not my friend. And they're like, oh, why are you being mean to your friend, saying they're not your friend? While it's clearly somebody wearing the bloody skin of your friend. Imagine the gaslighting. I would never. I mean, if I wanted to speed run, I could, but items. Look at all these items. Now I'm gonna punch you in your stupid cactus face. Wow, you took me out in one hit. Take me with you. No. You are not my friend. You are ugly. I really wish that there was a proper... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon anime. I know that they've done, like, a few mangas and a few, like, short sla specials, OVAs, and that kind of stuff, but never a full-fledged anime. But at the same time, who knows, maybe it just isn't a popular enough series. Now that makes me wonder what the most popular, like, uh, Pokemon spin-off game has been. I'm guessing... Like, who knows, maybe Unite or that Pokemon Cafe, because that still exists for five million years. But, at the same time, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon keeps coming back periodically. It was like they made the Game Boy Advance and DS games. Then they, like, pretty soon after, I'd say, got a sequel in the Explorer's DS games. And then they got Gates to Infinity on the 3DS. And then Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon, Sup well, Super Mystery Dungeon, a bit later into the 3DS life cycle. Yay! A level up. And then not too long ago, like a few years now, they did the remake for the for these games on the Switch. So if the pattern holds, we should at least, hopefully, if all things go good get a second Mystery Dungeon game on the Switch before a new Nintendo console comes out. Because that seems to be the pattern. Two game iterations on DS, two game iterations on 3DS, 
And so far we've had one game iteration on Switch, so that means if the pattern holds, we should have at least one more game in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon franchise on the Switch. Well, technically, if you count the uh, WiiWare exclusive, Japanese exclusive Mystery Dungeon games, they just are weird. Where would you even place them? They were Japanese-only WiiWare games, and three of them were released, because they're like, ah, oh, three different versions. But I haven't really heard that much about them. Like, are they good? Are they bad? I haven't heard anything. I think I might have heard that they were pretty basic, all things considered. We have found an apple. We are currently an apple up. You ever punch someone and that paralyzes you? Also, I do find it funny that Shane levels up in this, a lower level dungeon, rather than the dungeon that we were getting hundreds of experience points on. Hmm, gold ribbon. Is this just something... Like I said, it's been freaking forever. What are you? Can be sold for a good price. Has no effect. It would be kind of amusing if you, like, got more money while holding it, but then that would probably break the game. So sellable it is. Here's another question. What is Pokey? The little like money system that Pokemon have because they look like gold coins but if they are indeed coins that means that there is a specific currency in this world which implies an authority that mints that money there is some authority who create the money of this world. And then it is taken as money law. What is the financial minting process for the Pokemon world? How dare you try to punch me with thunder. Once again, I am out healing their damage. The only things that can scare me in this game are goddamn status effects. Because they're like, we ignore everything. We just are status effects. Fear the status effects, for they affect all. They eat your soul. And your porridge. You must die for your sins of being a bird. Die, Stantler. Die, Stantler. Die, Stantler! I said die. So many Stantler here, and they all must die. Hello, Bee Drill. Why don't you go into construction with those drill hands of yours? Now I'm imagining a regional variant of Bee Drill, except its drills are replaced with, like, screwdrivers. <laughs> a jackhammer. Construction drill. It's the legendary construction bee. How dare you hit me. Quit hitting me. Getting hungry. We must kill everyone here. Alright. He just... Ooh, a critical hit. 
Good for you, Shane. You murdered a man. First off, first message. It's the Council of Missino that's in charge of minting Pokemon. Its CEO is Meowth. Come to the, 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 the unknown is a little bit of a surprise, but a Meowth being in charge of minting all the money, that does make sense. But then that then implies that our Persian banker is in. <laughs> is in with the Meowth minting head people. It's a family business, I guess. <laughs> then again, it also makes sense because Meowth literally can just make money. Even in the normal Pokemon games. Meowth just goes into a dungeon, uses Payday a hundred times on crazed dungeon Pokemon, comes out a millionaire. Although that then <laughs> makes me wonder, in a situation where we take Pokemon Mystery Dungeon super seriously and analyze it like a living, breathing world, would that then mean that the government of the Pokemon world would go, we need to regulate the move payday, or else everything will go to hell? I do believe that we have a second mission in here, so we should not be... Too bad. Then again, we aren't really a normal Pokemon. We are a rescue team, and in later games, exploration team, whatever the hell the other two are, because my brain completely forgets those ones. It's like rescue and expedition. Is that what that one, that one is? I don't know. So it's just like, I wonder if there are regulations within this grander taking the Pokemon world super seriously. If there is indeed, like, you are a normal Pokemon, you have no need to, like, go and use magnitude in the city square. Meowth uses the Missy Note to double the profits. Huh. That Meowth has it figured out. The Bank of Meowth. A lot of Stantler have died this day. Do not look at me that way, Antler Man. I just love the music in these games. When it comes to, like, the certain kind of, uh, consoles that have their own, what's it called, uh, sound fonts? No. Like, a certain kind of uh, musical sound that is made with their sound chips or whatever. They always bring a delight to me. Because it's always just like interesting and nice and once again interesting. I do not have the words. But it is nice. And now that makes me wonder what a Pokemon band would be like. You cannot hit him from around the corner. The population of Canadians have dropped 50% since I joined. Well, I guess that does make sense, average Canadian. Ah, there's our little friend. No running away now. We shall rescue you. We shall give you the ultimate running away. Running away from this entire mountain. Look at that face. He's so happy that we saved his friend. And we got a white gummy. And a tangela. Once again, good work. I forgot to save. <laughs> Michelle, go ahead, because we can just do that.
What mail comes in the mail today? Dear Pelepa friend. Ah. Hmm. Uproar forest, howling forest. We'll have to see. And Sky Tower, that place I can't go. Because I don't have the flying HM. I had a whole, uh, I think I still have a whole stack of diddly D. A whole stack of sky diddly D and the game is mean and being like, you can't go there, you fool, you moraine. Why couldn't we just get a big flying boy to take us there and we'll go sell this gold ribbon? I would like to sell a ribbon to you. It is gold and shiny and nice. Oop, emulation hiccup. There is it's a missing sound channel. Huh. That reminds me, cause like I'm trying to think. There was an official game that like uh had something like that. I think. Where like in the Japanese version of a specific, like, console release of a game. It had, like, a thing. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of uproar forests here. What, Ornberry, Hurry, two Great Canyons. Well, then we do believe there is one uproar forest back at the house. But yeah, again, I forget what game it was, but there was, like, I think a release. That like, ba ba ba. In the, do you know there's extra dungeons? That I do know. At least I think I do. It depends if you mean like the Wonder Mail dungeons, which I think there's some of their like exclusive there. But there's also the dungeons that I can unlock. It's just that <laughs> after going to the Buried Relic one time and just having a grand old time. Sarcasm. Let's see. Hmm. Well, sorry, Lapis Cave. You must be deleted. And we shall take this uh, other uproar forest. Oh, yeah. Ah, it is the... Yeah, but... Yeah, there's unlockable dungeons and the Wonder Mail dungeons. Maybe once I get to a certain point, I'll look into the Wonderdale... No, Wonderdale. And now time for Wonderdale. But... Now, I don't want to store, I want to take out a, an orange berry. Even though it's entirely possible we might find an orange berry in there. My, uh, my luck. I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. I do not want to risk my brisket. Yeah, because uh, a way, way back, I started doing this game because I really like this game. This is the first game to ever make me cry. It was a childhood game and I'm like, I'm going to stream it. And, uh, then I got to the, like, Buried Relic, and my game just absolutely destroyed me. So it took me a bit to, like, crawl back and go, fine. And, of course, Paranoia... Bup -bup. Save state, because... You don't... You never know. Technology. Wonder Mail has a guide on uh, game facts now. I'll definitely look into it. It's more game to experience. So maybe that will be while I'm on my I should <laughs> my uh, bu -bu -bu brain think of word use your verbiage while I'm on my gr level grinding spree. Maybe I can sneak in a few Wonder Mail. Dreams. And then eventually, someday, when I feel comfortable with the Anil- Ah, thank you for the Wonder- uh, Wonderberry? No, Orenberry. You fool. Fool being me. But yeah. Eventually, someday, we will return to the Buried Relic. 
Because that just, that place kicked my ass. It taunted me with locked places with keys I didn't have. His brain's hitting the Wonder Wall. Indeed. It usually does that. He just killed a seed man with seeds. That is dead. Shane just going, I'm gonna shoot everyone in this forest. Good for you, Shane. I was just gonna leave, but then you tried to kill me, so now you gotta die. Something seems seedy. Well, it is a forest. If there weren't any seeds, it wouldn't be a forest. Congratulations on all that hardening. It sure helped you. A green gummy. But not grass gummy. Ah, hell. Shane, help me. I will dance around. My legs let me bound over any boulder. I'm proud of them. Good for you. I was just standing there between you and a, a villain. Completely confused and afraid. And you're just there smiling. Afraid of nothing. Oh, I'm sure that my friend is fine. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Kill the monkey! You can run, but you can't hide from this. <laughs> Something seems seedy, and it ain't the forest. What if the entire forest was a Pokemon? Like an entire fungal colony that is a single Pokemon. Somebody has taken my apple, and they must die for it. Again, how do you miss with an earthquake? It just seems improbable. It's like trying to hit somebody with a planet. How do you miss? <laughs> like you're explore, uh, exploring the back of a Torterra? Yeah. That would be interesting. We must explore, gather items, and money. Even if most of that money will just go into real estate. Which, come to think of it, how did Wigglytuff get all that real estate? Whom did he take the land from? Did he just happen upon land and go, this is mine now? Wigglytuff, colonizer. He's all about friends. So he says. Is that just <laughs> friends? Or as he calls them, tenants. Not this is the dead end. Be gone, Venonat. How dare you attack me for me coming into your home? Then again, would anybody even want to live in a mystery dungeon? I know if we stick around too long, we get kicked out. Grass gummy, target acquired, all C dots must die. This grass gummy now goes to my dear friend. Become smart. For the power of whatever the hell this is. Now, if only those Flintstone gummies were as that powerful. I throw a rock at you. And now I headbutt you. And I missed. So I headbutt you again. And now we shall rescue this man. <laughs> Likely weed. Probably. I would not like to leave. I have multiple missions still to do. At least I think there is. 
Kind of wish that I could, like, double-check my jobs that I took. Because who knows? My memory is bad. <laughs> like murder! Now that's just a given. <laughs> and leveling. I wonder what leveling is to the Pokémon of this world. Is it like muscles? Or do they know? There are little numbers that define their fate. Hey, another grass gummy for you, my friend. Eat and become strong. And by that I mean smart. And now I'm imagining, what if Mystery Dungeons played these songs while you were in them? You enter a place and suddenly actual music just resonates from the walls. You're like, oh no, we're in the hell magic place. Congratulations, you slightly annoyed me with your rock. Not rock, earthquake. Then again, really, earthquake is rock. It quakes one giant rock. Fraggle rock. I want to join your team! No. You are like the fifth CDOT today to want to join. I say be gone with you. Wow, how dare you try to bite a blast seed at me? That's just rude. I smash a man so that he's, like, already almost dead. He's on his way out, one foot through the door, and Shane just puts a Glock to his neck. Don't worry, I'll finish it. Quit running away. Well, first, Green Gummy. Who cares? Well, this might be a Reviver Seed. It's a Blast Seed. Darn you. And I think, if Brain is not miscounting, that should be the last one. If worse comes to worse, we can just come back anyway. Thank you for rescuing my friend. A heal seed. And points, the most important thing. Yeah, he gave me a blue gummy. That's a thing that I need. I think, for a level. Also, an ancient dinosaur needed my help leaving a forest. A weather band. My brain was thinking of a joke. And it just failed. Because it's just like... A musical band of weather. Whatever that means. Brain is not good. To be fair, I've had like a headache for the past two days, so I can't be on my A-game the entire time. Well, let's see what mail we got today. More jobs. I'll probably need to nuke some of these. I'll take that so I can throw it away. And I'll take that so I can throw it away. People sending me personal missions like, Please, come help me! And, <laughs> and I just toss it. They think that I'm on my way to help them. The answer is no. Go ahead and put my money away. Granted, I could probably use that to buy some friend areas, but I don't. I haven't been going to the places where I could get real super powerful friends. Mount Freeze, Mount Freeze. I think I have a brown gummy. Uproar Forest, Howling Forest. I guess we could take the Mount Freeze ones and hmm. take a look around. One of these ones was. Mount Free is a brown gummy wanted. I think I got one from a job previously. First, we'll put away all the ones that we don't need. 
such as these half a billion apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, and that's why we probably don't have a town medic. I have so many goddamn apples here. Brown gummy, give it to me. Or is this one of those ones where it wants me to go into a dungeon to find a, a gummy? I see item name in thing, and I'm like, oh, yes. The item brown gummy is in the... Th is is the in thing. Please share one with me. He'll give me a revival seed, so I guess that, <laughs> that counts. That's good. We'll quickly go grab Sean. deleted the thing. Oh boy, we're gonna be escorting a motherfucker up there. Good for you. And paranoia save state because I am afraid. And this will probably be the last dungeon of the day. Because again, headaches are eating away at me even though this is a right good cure. Ah, I just love... Just hearing the first little bit of a level song that I haven't heard in a while just soothes the goddamn soul. I hear it and I'm like, oh, magical. It just appeases me in so many ways. Yes, and then after this, I'll have to think if I want to just do some off-screen grinding because... That way we can try and get back on track of doing the post-game dungeons. And then after... Either before that, in between it, somewhere, we might try to do some of that Wonder Mail. Now, thanks to the average Canadian to come on into chat saying, Hey, there's a good guide on it on the game facts. Which I'll definitely look into it. Because I never use the Wonder Mail system. Mostly because her brain is just like, I play game, I don't know what this secondary function is. This is a lot of items. Kill this shell gone. Make him be gone. Ooh, I found a reviver seed on the floor. This is my happy day. Hmm. <laughs> now that makes me wonder what's more efficient. Having, like, max elixirs and orange berries, or just carrying a shit ton of reviver seeds. Who needs healing when you can just come back from the dead? Yeah, I should probably, uh... Never mind. <laughs> Shane decides he's going to, uh... Anti-air artillery, the poor fuck. A flying enemy is coming towards our escortee, taking them down now. How dare you make me cringe. I'll feed you to an orca. You'll join the Air Force yet, little seal. And a second Reviver Seed. That is like a thousand six hundred Pokey that we got with this, those two items. How dare you screech at me. You don't even have a mouth. You are based on like a, a, a pupa? Some kind of life state of a bug with no mouth. Now everybody is suffering. All right, you will die now. You had two chances. Now you got more. You're slowing me down. You're making me cringe. How about I just throw a goddamn rock at your face? 
He's just like, I'm gonna use all my moves to keep you stuck here. And I'm just like, I've had enough of this. Rock. Because, you know, planting my face into their face requires so much more precision than throwing a rock. Throwing a thing? Nah. <laughs> That's perfectly, like, so much more accurate. I guess everybody in this game just has shooting instincts. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, except everybody is, like, a, a part of the mob. A part of the mafia. Mew is the, like, the godfather. You come from this mystery dungeon on the day of my daughter's wedding. Uh, which one? All of them. I'm the mother of all creation. I thought that was Arceus. Ah, uh, you know mythologies. Hey, I leveled up. Huzzah! Hooray. Another Reviver Seed. This this is just Reviver Seed Central. Is this game telling me to kill myself with the amount of Reviver Seeds I'm getting? Something just feels off. I no longer feel safe. Oh, fuck. Well, at least now we have, have a reason for all of the Reviver Seeds. How dare you fly over water? I'll send you crashing into it. You bastard. I will go ahead and eat that plain seed to get it out of my inventory. You throw icy wind at him, he shoots back. Far more deadly. Be gone, pine cone. How dare you waddle on up on me like that. Now I'm just so much more paranoid. Because my frickin' 12 HP escortee has already experienced the, the, the grip of death. The grip, the grip, the grasp. The something or other of death. This is just gonna be a dead end, isn't it? How dare you wind all this way down here. Hello, Swallabaloo. Your death comes swiftly. If only you were as swift to end your turn. <gasps> now I'm thinking Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Dungeon. You go into a dungeon trying to save people, but all of these m monsters keep challenging you to a duel. <laughs> Keep glaring, you can't hurt me. Keep glaring, you can't hurt me. Or my partner. It's like, would you like to get out of this dungeon right now? I'll definitely need to be careful when it comes to escort missions. And I see, because I ju the thought just occurred to me Mostly because I haven't played this game in a long time. And uh, I recently ran into uh, the Earthquake Central. I dread the day that I have, like, a... Bop, bop, bop. Have an escort mission on a level that has a ton of earthquake-causing enemies. That'll be hell. We'll be pain and misery. Ah, we can kill this poor fool. Die. Through the snow. Oh, let's, let's see. Yeah, we should probably eat an apple. Who needs doctors when you have apples? Buy some apples. 
buy some coffins. Ah, yeah, Zangoose. It has swords. Thank you, dear friend. You have saved me much. I shall use a shadow ball in your honor. You can just come around the corner, you know, and actually help. Hello. Now you will die. Be gone, Satan. I want to join your team. No, thank you. This is not a recruitment mission, especially not when we have an escortee. I do not want to send my escort down the line where they will get ambushed. Diddly 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 do. Punch you in the face. And I think this will just be up a little turn around. I would mark forward, but you'd probably target my escort, and I don't want that to happen. Be gone. Hey, Chai Meku. Die. Another one. You are not helping anybody, Shane. Congratulations. You made yourself sleepless. We have nobody who can make you asleep. Well, ain't that just a thing. I get back here. You have been reunited. Now be gone. We have one more mission to do, I do believe. Or is it... I do believe it's just one. As you can tell, my memory is fantastic. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Murder! Murder! Now we will punch your face in. He tried to punch our face in, but he failed. Instead, we take his money. Now my brain went, uh, middle school boxing, where if you can beat somebody up, you can take their money. Yes, 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 you have a big old sword. I have a rock. I have a rock. Be gone, little weasel man. And then we should probably eat an apple. And again, we're just getting so many reviver seeds. This is a wonderful dungeon for Reviver Seeds. Shane sees an enemy. He takes out his gun. Why wait for them to get close when you can murder them now? In the Pokemon world, Grovile is John Wick. Granted, that then puts me in the role of John Wick's dog, which is a bit... not good. Totally not cash money. Hello, little Chimeku. Time for you to die. You cannot make me cringe, for I am already on fire. I want to join your team. Too bad. Waluigi time.
make way for the Eevee. You know what? I shall throw a rock at you. And if you get shot, it's your own fault. I have enough rocks that I can do this all day. Ah, are you ever gonna run out of rocks? No, because I work at the rock factory. You know, I just realized something. We have escape orbs because, like, oh no, if bad things happen, we need an escape from the dungeon. What about our rescue badges? We use our rescue badges to get other, like, Pokemon out of dungeons, and then once we finish missions, we're like, ooh, do we want to leave using our convenient super get out of dungeon badges? But you can't just use them like an item. I guess that's it specifically. It's not an item, so it can't be used like an item. But just like in universe, why don't we just use the rescue badges to get out of bad situations instead of being like, oh no, if only we had this one specific item instead of this item that we always have on us. You must die for your sins. You stole my money, but I found it on the floor, but you don't understand. That is my money, and I will have it back. Good for you. Come forth and die. What shall we throw away for you? I guess a Pekka Berry, because I never use Pekka Berries. A special band. We have quite a few of those, but at the same time, you might be able to be sold. I shall trade you those, because I don't use the spikes ever. I use rocks. Well, that's horrifying. You must die immediately. Another Pekka Berry will swap. Good, the big burly ape man did not know we went down the dead end path. Because obviously nobody would be that dumb. I was going to say, just like, why do the Surviper and the Zangoose live in the same place if they hate each other? Well, I guess you'd have to live close to something to hate it. Either that or it would just be a genetic... Ah, our ancestors once fought. We hate you. It's just like deeply ingrained. You must die and suffer. You must die and suffer part two. Congratulations, you you restored some of your HP, but still died. Quit biting me. And once again, probably should eat apple. Apple. And yeah, we should probably just get out of here. Be gone. We're gonna make just a loop-de-loop -loop box. Perfect terrain generation. Everything's a loop-de-loop -loop dead end in this world. Kill the snark! Kill him!
Out of all the berries, I shall take an orange berry. Mostly because I get good use out of them. Give me your money. Now die. Well, we already have a bunch of P.E.K.K.A. scarves at home. I really need to make note of my missions more. Well, I'll just go ahead and eat this gummy. Nom nom. I learned energy saver! As opposed to this, recovers faster from status effects. Hmm. So I guess if you wanted to min-max, you would turn that on when you're facing a status effect. But knowing me, if I tried to min-max, like the IQ stuff, I would constantly forget and just leave something on suboptimally. Punch this man. Kill this man. Now I'm imagining a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game where eventually humans evolve from Pokemon. Wouldn't that be sick? Fine, we will fight you, we will kill you, we will murder you, because you so much focus on following us. Monstrosity. Oh, you you were just one of those ones that were like, ah yes, I will meet you after you leave the dungeon. Because there's some where they're like, you deliver the item to them in the dungeon. And some of them are different, blah, blah, blah. Here I was looking for them. Where are they? I must deliver to them this brown gummy. When they were outside the entire time. Eh. But I do believe that that shall do it for now. Once again, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a fun old time, and I'm really glad to get back into it after Brain just decided to be wonky and forget about doing it for so long. But yeah, this will be exciting to get back into. I'll probably do a bit of off-stream grinding, as I meant to do last time, but this time I'll do it for serious. And then, if uh, in between other streams, I might come back and be like, Hey, let's do some Wonder Mail dungeons, and seek that stuff out. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, Neon Icy Wings for edited content, and then Neon Icy Games for YouTube streams, as well as where all the VODs eventually end up, so that all of these streams can be uh, recorded and placed places and not forgotten to the wayward blare of time. But if you prefer Twitch, you can always watch me on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Because dual streaming is a thing, and I'm not bound by anything. But other than that, if you enjoy art, like my little avatar in the corner, I try to post art to various socials, like Tumblr, DeviantArt, uh, Newgrounds, Inkblot now. I've heard that's good, and I'm trying to use it more. But uh, for all of m the various, far too many social medias there are, you can see them all in my link tree, which I have in the various link and bio places, and it should house all of my various social media links. Yes. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.